Chapter 2 You yourselves know, dear brothers and sisters, that our visit to you was not a failure. You know how badly we had been treated at Philippi just before we came to you and how much we suffered there. Yet our God gave us the courage to declare his good news to you boldly, even though we were surrounded by many who opposed us. So you can see that we were not preaching with any deceit or impure purposes or trickery. For we speak as messengers who have been approved by God to be entrusted with the good news. Our purpose is to please God, not people. He is the one who examines the motives of our hearts. Never once did we try to win you with flattery, as you very well know. And God is our witness that we were not just pretending to be your friends so you would give us money. As for praise, we have never asked for it from you or anyone else. As apostles of Christ, we certainly had a right to make some demands of you, but we were as gentle among you as a mother, feeding and caring for her own children. We loved you so much that we gave you not only God's good news, but our own lives too. Don't you remember, dear brothers and sisters, how hard we worked among you? Night and day we toiled to earn a living so that our expenses would not be a burden to anyone there as we preached God's good news among you. You yourselves are our witnesses, and so is God, that we were pure and honest and faultless toward all of you believers. And you know that we treated each of you as a father treats his own children. We pleaded with you, encouraged you, and urged you to live your lives in a way that God would consider worthy. For he called you into his kingdom to share his glory. And we will never stop thanking God that when we preached his message to you, you didn't think of the words we spoke as being just our own. You accepted what we said as the very word of God, which of course it was. And this word continues to work in you who believe. And then, dear brothers and sisters, you suffered persecution from your own countrymen. In this way, you imitated the believers in God's churches in Judea, who, because of their belief in Christ Jesus, suffered from their own people, the Jews. For some of the Jews had killed their own prophets, and some even killed the Lord Jesus. Now they have persecuted us and driven us out. They displease God and oppose everyone by trying to keep us from preaching the good news to the Gentiles, for fear some might be saved. By doing this, they continue to pile up their sins. But the anger of God has caught up with them at last. Dear brothers and sisters, after we were separated from you for a little while, though our hearts never left you, we tried very hard to come back because of our intense longing to see you again. We wanted very much to come, and I, Paul, tried again and again. But Satan prevented us. After all, what gives us hope and joy, and what is our proud reward and crown? It is you. Yes, you will bring us much joy as we stand together before our Lord Jesus when he comes back again. For you are our pride and joy.